the footboard calculation is a volumetric calculation. Now calculate the volume of wood a board contains. In this case I'm going to use this 2x6 which happens to be 4 foot long. Just ignore the holes. The unit of measurement for this calculation, and this is one unit, is this board foot. And the board foot has the volume of whatever, whatever space a one foot long by one foot wide by one inch thick piece of wood takes up. So that's one unit and we're gonna see how many of these or what fraction of this fits into this. Okay, I'm gonna have two approaches on this one, actually three. The first one will make sense or will build upon your uh, middle school experience and uh, the second one will work with the concept of board footage and uh, and finally I'll show you how those two are basically the same. Just come on in closer so you can see the math here. Oh yeah, before we do the numbers, it's important to point out that in this case, in this 2 by 6 case, this is a nominal 2 inch thick and a nominal 6 inch wide. Due to historic reason, milling, glosses and whatever, it's, I'm not, I'm not going there, this is inch and a half by five and a half. You might want to check your piece of board or your piece of lumber to see its actual thickness and width and and if your job requires that uh, this calculation be done with uh, some scientific accuracy you might want the real thickness of it which could be instead of 1.5 1.48 or 1.51 or some other similar number with more decimal digits or uh, or uh, fewer decimal digits, I don't know. So, the high school, sorry, middle school version of volume of a rectangular prism, because this piece of wood is a rectangular prism, it's got a height, the thickness is height, it's got a width, and of course it's got a length. So, volume was in a rectangular prism, very simply, length, I'm gonna go with this color, length times width times height, but I'm gonna go with thickness in this case. Okay, so that's how volume calculation looked like in elementary school and guess what? This is gonna be exactly the same, three things multiplied. So, the uh, before we can calculate, there's one issue here I want to point out. That's inches, that's inches, and that's feet. And according to rules in middle school, uh, you gotta have the same unit of measurement in all of these three numbers, or all of these three, three quantities to, to uh, multiply them together. Because that's feet. The easiest is to convert feet to inches so that everything is in inches because that's just one piece of conversion. Let's do that. Four feet needs to be multiplied by 12 to get 48 inches out of because there are 12 inches in every foot so now we have inches for thickness inches for width and inches for length all you need to do is multiply inch and a half by five and a half by 48 and you're gonna have volume out of it if you do the math volume equals 1.5 oops 1.5 times 5.5 times 48 equals 396 wonderful 396 now my question is 396 what because the calculator does the calculation for you but doesn't do the thinking 396 what if you look at the units of measure, inches were multiplied with inches, were multiplied with inches. So inches times inches times inches equals cubic inches. So that's your unit of measurement. Sometimes it's written C-U-I-N, cubic inches, same thing, but that's your unit of measurement. Now, we need, of course, 
board feet. So how do we make board feet out of it? In this board foot with one foot one foot length, one foot width and one foot thickness there are exactly 144 cubic inches. That's one cubic inch. So what we need to do is divide this 396 by 144 to see how many board feet we have in this. Divide by 144 equals 2.75 2.75 board feet. So we determine that this 2 by 6 4 foot long has a board foot of uh, board footage of 2.75 so this was the version that builds on your elementary or middle school experience with uh, this concept of rectangular prisms the, another approach work you know and, and 2.75 is correct if you're happy with this uh, method you know god bless you use it you might come across a different approach in your textbook and that's how that looks like. The concept of a board foot means that the length is in feet, one foot. The width is also is in feet, one foot. And the thickness is in inches, one inch. So two measurements are in feet and only one of them is in inches. So this one is in inches, this one is in feet, and this one needs to be in feet. So instead of converting the length into inches like in the previous approach, let's convert width to feet. We do that instead of multiplying by 12, we divide by 12. So that's, that width is going to be divided by 12. Let's do that. 5.5 divided by 12 equals that number. That decimal number is so ugly, I don't even want to write it down. What I'm going to do is, while it's on the display, multiply it by the length, which is 4 feet, and multiply it with the inches, which, uh, by the thickness, which is 1.5. So I'm going to go times 4 and times 1.5 equals also 2.75. there 2.75 board feet so both calculations are the same in terms of they have the same final answer both calculations have a conversion this one the width was converted in the first approach the length was converted so however the number of steps is slightly different one multiplication, one division, and one multiplication. So that's three, three steps. It's a three-step calculation, and we had a final answer. And in this one, we needed to do a multiplication to get 48, another multiplication, and another multiplication. So that's three multiplications, and then we had to do one division. So that's four steps. It's a four step calculation. So this one is slightly shorter. If you like it, very good. Use it. Now, either which way, you're going to end up with the same 2.75 board feet. Now in your textbook, you might find a formula that looks a little differently, different than this. Let me just do those formulas here on this side. In, in either case we have length, width and thickness. So that, that didn't change, that doesn't change. But there is, or there was, here a division in it divided by 12. Okay, uh, why isn't there a division by 12 here? So let me explain that first. We multiplied by 12 and we divided by 144. 
and let me just try this one here that if you take a number such as 4 feet and you multiply it by 12 and divide by 144 4 times sorry 12 divided by 144 you're gonna get that decimal number 0 0.333 0 0.3 repeating this multiplication by 12 and division by 144 could be replaced with one operation namely division by 12 it's not that that multiplication becomes a division that's not the situation these two steps were replaced by a single step 4 feet divided by 12 is gonna be the same decimal number here take a look 4 divided by 12 because see the same decimal number 0 0.3 repeating all right so let's have this one is four steps but we can make it into three steps if we divide but we divide the length by 12 now here the length was divided by 12 and in this one the width was divided by 12 and I wrote it that way so in terms of math it doesn't matter which number gets divided by 12 there's got to be a division by 12 so those are your three items multiplied and the thickness has to be in inches inches is written that way or you can write it as inches but it doesn't matter forget the units of measurement for a second it doesn't matter which number is divided by 12 there was a number 4 there was a number 5.5 there was a number 1.5 and there was a division by 12 so the if those ones are multiplications the division can come at the end and this is how you enter it in your calculator and in a form in a in a formula in your textbook you might see it as as uh, written this way uh, let me let me do it here four or length times width times thickness divided by 12 the division might look like this visually uh, which is the same as this is how you enter it in your calculator it's good you can make a subtotal of length times width times thickness that's good and then divide that subtotal by 12 you're gonna get 2.75 here 4 times 5.5 times 1.5 equals that's your subtotal divide that by 12 2.75 so you might see it in this formula but it's the same as the ones that we did on the other side of the paper when we had length divided by 12 times width times thickness that also worked here yeah. 4 divided by 12 equals times 5.5 times 1.5 also 2.75 so it works this way and it works the other way when length was multiplied with the twelfth of the width and it was multiplied with thickness and actually we started here and you know that's also 2.75 and in terms of math you can just multiply length with width and multiply it with the the division by 12 could be there it works as well look at it 1.5 divided by 12 equals so we just did the thickness divided by 12 and let's times it by 4 and times it by 1.5 Sorry, go again. 1.5 was the thickness divided by 12 equals that number times it by 5.5 and times it by 4 equals 2.75. So, no matter how your formula looks like in your book, because you can come across different versions in different textbooks depending on uh, who wrote it and uh, what kind of uh, computer and word processor they had. Either which way, this one works with a single division or by 12 and multiplying the length in feet 
the width and thickness in inches it's gonna work out so that's all I have to say about board foot calculation there